Alright. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Nino Kuni Mondays. We're gonna turn back into frogs and we're going to see what's going on here. Hold up, Bolly Boy. What if a monster attacks us? We're in no state to put up a fight, man. Well, I guess. But we have to go after that rainbow colored frog, Mr. Drippy. Wait a minute. We might be a bit on the froggy side, but your familiars could still be okay. Have a look, will you? Gee, you're right. They seem just fine. Interesting, that. A curse only seems to affect humans, and fairies, of course. Well, let's count our blessings, shall we? At least we've got your familiars to protect us, if a monster fancies frog for lunch. Yeah, I guess you're right. Alright. Oh! I thought that was the rainbow colored frog. That's the monster. That's why he's at- What the fuck is that? I kinda wanted to see it. Can it? What? An uh... It's like a T-Rex. If you don't move, it doesn't see you. <laughs> Look at Drippy's face. <laughs> oh, I love Drippy. Oh my god. It's down this way, right? I don't... I don't think I'm gonna get attacked. I don't think so, right? Oh, good boy. Ah! Okay, so I did read somewhere that if you just do keep us healthy on everybody, everyone will fight and heal themselves. So this is kind of what you want. I think. I can't remember. But... I'm trying to just, like, have, you know, better NPCs. Because that is one problem I've had with the combat. It's a cool little, um, trial place. It's all like the Vault of Tears, right? Can we just go into the water? Yeah, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> I love, like, the little animations. Um, I don't know if you cut that in the corner. There seems to be, like, a little... Sharing gun. <laughs> but that'll probably dr um, drain the floor, maybe? This looks cool. What is this? Hmm. I'm sure that frog came by over here. Ribbit. 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 Oh. There it is. Stop. Please. Ribbit? Ribbit, ribbit. Come on, everybody. We have to go after it. He's right. We can't let it get away. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably getting annoying. Um, what is this? Is this gonna turn us back? Interesting. Okay. Woohoo! We're back to normal. Phew. The novelty of being a frog wears off pretty quickly, eh? Yeah. I know. And having to speak in that awful frog language? Just so tiring. Too rare, Bitmon. Er, I mean, too right. <laughs> Looks like Drippy misses his old froggy form. Anyway, we should get back to searching for that stone. Wait, what if... I think that rainbow colored frog was trying to lead us here. So why hasn't he changed back into a human like we did? Maybe he was just a normal frog all along. Hmm. I don't know. But it is curious. Well, I'm sure we'll bump into it again before long, innit? Now then, let's start looking for that stone, shall we? Sure thing. Let's take a look around these ruins. Hey. What you doing? Ribbit, ribbit. Okay. I gu I'm guessing he's the final boss. He looks pretty scary. Where are we? Cranky, this place is a bit blinking grim. Must be a prison or something. Is there someone there? Ugh! Who's that? 
It's a flippin' frog. Another one. Another one. Do you mean to say that someone else has been blinded by my curse? Actually, we were cursed and turned into frogs ourselves. But we didn't look like you do. Leave. Now. You must leave this place. It is dangerous. Huh? But, but you... Do not waste time worrying about me. Ugh. What's the matter? Are you her? Oh, Oliver. We've got to do something. Yeah, we have to help him. I guess I can use magic to get this door open. Let's give it a try. So we're just gonna... Just start doing what we want. Not listen to warnings. I like it. <sighs> what are you doing? Leave me alone. I beseech you. Wait a minute. Are you... Are you the Frog Prince? You know who I am? But how? The Frog Prince of the Desert. That's you, isn't it? The one who left his kingdom, abandoning his princess. <clears throat> how did you... What are you going on about, Esther? Are you trying to confuse us or something? <laughs> it wouldn't take much to confuse the likes of you, Swain. I'm just a bit shocked, alright? I didn't think we were going to bump into a prince from a fairy tale, did I? A fairy tale? Hmm, I see. So that is how you know of me. Now, let me think. Ah, yeah. I remember. Alright, listen carefully. Once upon a time, before the fathers of our fathers' fathers were born, there was a magnificent desert kingdom. In that kingdom lived a handsome and courageous young prince, who was much loved by all of his subjects. Then one day, the kingdom was attacked by a monstrous serpent, a beast so hideous that it struck fear into all who saw it. A terrible, evil creature. The prince decided that, in order to defeat this serpent, he would have to drink a certain mysterious potion. No sooner had he swallowed the diabolical draught, than he began to turn into a frog. What? Why would he drink a potion that turned him into a frog? A frog doesn't stand a chance of beating a snake. I haven't finished the story yet. I told you to listen carefully, didn't I? Not ask stupid questions. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. The reason he decided to turn into a frog was... To lull the serpent into a false sense of security by becoming one of its favorite foodstuffs, if I recall correctly. Hmm. <laughs> yes. My apologies. Please continue. And so the prince had turned himself into a frog... For he had a plan. He knew the serpent would not be able to resist eating him, and that this would allow him to attack the monster from within. The plan worked. The serpent swallowed the prince, and received a mortal blow from inside for its trouble. But alas, the prince could not return to his original form. No matter what he tried, he remained an ugly frog. This caused him great distress. He could not stop thinking about how foolish he had been. So he vowed to hide himself, away from the world. Now, the prince was married to a beautiful young princess, though he had promised her that they would be together forever and ever. She had not seen him since he left to face the serpent. It began to seem that he would never return. Despairing, the princess went to the tomb where the prince had slain the serpent and wept for her lost love. And there she remained, waiting for her prince, though she knew he would never come, waiting until the end of her days. Hmm, she waited, you say? I see, it truly has become a fairy tale. Gee, that's a pretty sad story. Every girl in Alma Moon has told that story when they're young, and everyone cries the first time they hear it. 
You speak of it as if it were a work of fiction. Oh, I'm sorry, Prince Ali. Prince Ali, it's been a long time since anyone has called me by my name. Well then, shall I tell you the final chapter of your fairy tale? The final chapter? So the prince left his princess behind and turned his back on his kingdom. The princess's name was Yasmina, by the way. She was the love of the prince's life, and yet, he abandoned her. Many years passed, and the prince remained a frog, only to find, to his dismay, that he was unable to die. Yes, yes, he was destined to live as a frog forever. Even after his kingdom has been raised to the ground. That's just terrible. Huh. I may have suffered, but it is nothing compared to the pain I have caused my beloved Yasmina. Indeed, I feel sometimes that this is a just punishment. But why are you in this cell, your highness? It is the serpent, Apep. He has returned. Someone brought him back to life. I don't think there are many people who could breathe new life into an ancient monster. Yeah, I can only think of one. You mean, Chidar? Apep wasted no time in taking his revenge. That is how I came to be imprisoned here. Who can say how long he intends to prolong my agony? Have I not suffered enough to remain in this form, to live without my beloved? Oliver, isn't there a spell you can cast to bring Prince Ollie back to normal? You mean something to lift the curse that turned him into a frog? Hmm. Hang on a flippin' minute, man. Why don't we use that magic circle that lifted our froggy curse? You're right. It worked for us. Maybe it would work for him. But surely you did not consume the same shape-shifting potion that I did. Well, it wasn't a potion, no. But that's not important right now. Come on, your highness. Let's give that magic circle a try. Could such magic truly reside in this temple? And what if I were to become human again? What new torments would Apep devise for me then? You mustn't think about things like that, your highness. We have to try, at least. Now, come with us. We'll take you straight to the magic circle. Okay, so we have the prince with us now. That's cool. Yeah. No. And, uh, it, it's exciting. He's from a fairy tale. And we're with a fairy. Oliver's living the life. Truly. He's in another world, so he got izakai And he's traveling with a fairy, with a fairy tale prince. This is so cool. And each of his companions is a descendant of a great sage. Prince Ollie. This is the magic circle that lifted our curse. Magic circle? Could such a thing really have the same effect on me? Well, there's only one way to find out. Yes, you are right. Get on it, bud. <laughs> it didn't work. You're truly a frog. What? I don't understand. He's standing in the middle of the circle, just like we did. But nothing's happening. The poor fellow's been like that for a thousand years. We were only cursed for a few minutes. I'm so sorry, Prince Ollie. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. There is no need to apologize. I was rather expecting this to happen. I do not believe my curse will be lifted while Aya Pep draws breath. He is doubtless using his own foul magic to strengthen its hold. Well then, it is pretty obvious what we need to do, isn't it? Mr. Drippy's right. There's only one thing for it. Surely not. Surely you're not going to try and defeat Opep. That would be unspeakably reckless. I, I shall assist you. I must. Ugh. No, you can't fight, Prince Ali. Not in your condition. Don't worry, Prince Ali. You can count on us. We'll defeat Opep and lift your curse. I... I believe you. Something about you makes me believe. 
Our pep lurks deep within these ruins. I shall take you to him. Perhaps a key is required to open that door, but there are no keys in these ruins, I am sure. However, there was something written on the wall of my cell. I wonder if it is some kind of clue. I wonder if it is some kind of clue. Two firm friends play a leapfrog all across the floor. There was more as well, I'm sure. Perhaps understanding those words is the key to opening the door. Well, let's go look at your cell then, because what the fuck does that mean? Two firm friends play leapfrog? What does that mean? There's something written on the wall by here. Two firm friends play leapfrog all across the floor. Uh, oh, there's more. Each one gamely going where the other one was before. Doesn't make much sense to me, man. Playing leapfrog, but going to the same place as the other one was. Oh, that's how I select the statue. Two firm friends playing leapfrog. It would be this one, right? Because they're hopping into the same position that the other one was in. Let me look at it again. Am I supposed to just play leapfrog with them? I don't understand. Or am I supposed to set them up in a position to where they can play leapfrog all across the floor? I'm so confused. Huh? What? What I do? I was just trying to put them back in the place and I was like, oh, I'll think about it. What? What did I do? What? I'm so good. What? Wait, okay. They were playing leapfrog. Oh, did I switch them and play? Oh. I switched their places, right? Were they not like that before? Is that... I, I don't know. That was that was a weird one. Was that really just a troll puzzle? Because I thought I was supposed to do some kind of sequence sequence with the leapfrog, but I was like, I, I was like, they haven't given me anything though, so I don't... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh wait, why is this drained now? What? This was the place where we, uh... Huh. Yeah, we saw the showering gun here. What the fuck? I thought I was getting her during the place. Someone else did. I'm kind of sad. Serpent key. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking, I was like, maybe it's marking that chest. And it's just trying to tell me to use levitate over that. That wasn't bad. Hey, man. I found it. I found the key. Hi. So the king of cobras is up ahead, is he? Everyone ready then? Actually, no, I am not. Right, you are then. Take your time and make sure you're properly prepared. I, I, I am. There's just the frog there. Or is that a serpent? I feel like that's to give us, like, false security. <laughs> like, in the fucking story. He's just gonna eat it. Pretty cool looking. Death rattle. What the fuck is that? I'm scared. Is he a rattlesnake? That's terrifying. I'm scared. I'm scared. Supercharge. Only 150? Oh my god. What is Black Bolt? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I don't even know how to begin to fucking read that stutter. I flippin' hate snakes, I do. Make sure that slimy so-and-so doesn't come anywhere near me, Ollie boy. I'll faint. Me and my phobias. Weigh me down, they do. Oh, there's an idea. Pop something heavy on top of that thing, and it'll soon stop slithering. Use magic if you have to. You mean... Use something... Oh, I used burden on him to like slow him down. Oh my god, I keep burdening him. <laughs> it's like an instant stun. I've never had a boss like that before. That's so sick. Burning heart. I've never seen Oliver's. This is gonna be cool. What the fuck? Oliver's so cool, what the hell? And we beat him. <laughs> nice work. That was kind of really easy. What the fuck? We defeated our pep. Yeah. What is that? Is that this one of the stones? Oh yeah, this is for the stones, yeah, yeah. Cool, so Opep had one of them. It's not going to explode, you're fine. <laughs> Drippy's so fucking funny, I love him. You obtained the Moonstone. Nice. This is it. One of Mornstar's magic stones. So that slimy op have had it all along, did he? Good work, Ollie boy. I am speechless. I can scarcely believe that op has been defeated. And yet... Ugh! P -p Prince Ollie! Is, is this... It's the curse. The curse is lifting. Ugh. I'm... Prince Ollie! Wow, it's a miracle. He's human again, after all these years. It seems I have returned to normal. Too right you have. So what are you still looking so glum for? Though I am human once more, my kingdom is not but ruins. And she, she is long gone. Our story has already become a fairy tale. Everyone knows how it ends. But your highness. Ribbon. Huh, you're that frog we saw before. Where have you been all this time? A frog? Don't tell me. No way. You know, you know this frog helped us back when we were cursed. In fact, it led us straight to you. Truly, how very... Huh? Where the heck did she come from? Sh surely not. Surely this is impossible. Yasmina. My beautiful princess Yasmina. Huh. Huh? Ollie, I have been waiting for you. Waiting for so long. And I was a frog as well. Just like you. Is this a dream? Are you really? But how? Hang on a minute. So that colorful frog we saw was actually a, a princess? I, th I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> I drank the same potion as you, Ollie. The potion that changed you into a frog. The one that cursed you. I thought if I was cursed as well, then you would not be alone. You did this for me. I actually believed that we would meet again, Ollie. I knew that your curse would be lifted one day. I only had to wait. Then wait. Yasmina. Ollie. That was sweet. That was sweet. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You need not worry about us anymore. We are together again. And that is all that matters. Yes. 
we would finally be able to spend our lives together, just as we always wished. But where are you going to go? I didn't want to mention it, but your kingdom, well, it isn't what it was. Seen better days and all that. That is true. Though this is also a magnificent city in its own right. I feel sure that we can make it our home. Indeed, it is a fine city. And we should not dwell on the past. We should think about what we can contribute to the world of today. <laughs> Have you considered becoming Babana merchants? My father really enjoys it. And the free Babanas are a real bonus. Babanas? What are they? Alright. I suppose they didn't have babanas back in your day. You should try one, your highness. They're delicious. They sound wonderful. I cannot wait to taste my first babana. <laughs> it's nice to see you smiling. You're really lucky to have been given a second chance at happiness, you know. Don't let us slip away. Swain's right. You've waited thousands of years for this moment. Indeed. And it is thanks to you that it has finally arrived. You know, Esther, I think you'd better change the ending of that fairy tale. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and what will the new ending be? Hmm, let me think. Please wait. Do not be so hasty in writing the ending of our story. I beseech you. Yeah, I suppose this fairy tale isn't over yet, is it? Certainly not. Indeed, I feel that it is. To be continued. Hmm, <laughs> right. Let's get a move on, shall we? I reckon the happy couple might want some alone time. Oh, of course. Huh? Why? You've got a lot to learn, Ollie boy. You really have. Anyway, that's quite enough talking. Let's get walking. We've got things to do, you know. Yes. We should go. I'm sure we'll be seeing this fairy tale couple again soon anyway. <laughs>